Hello YouTube, King Chubbs back with another MCLC video. So today, Kabam has dropped on the forums Cavalier Difficulty, Rewards, and other information. And we're going to go ahead and hop on in it. <clears throat> so, Summoners, the wait is almost over. The Cavalier difficulty for event quest is almost here, and with it, we're making significant change, significant changes to event quest. Okay, let's see here. Gonna skip over all the rest of it. Let's see. We're building an easy path in each quest so that any Cavalier player can attempt to attain the completion rewards without a super wide roster. The completion rewards will help you develop your roster, helping you rank up your five star champions to rank five. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, so now let's get straight to the rewards, guys. So, for one completion of Cavalier difficulty, all three chapters, you will get 756 star shards. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of lacking for completion because for uncollected, when you complete it, I'm going to have to check. We're, we're gonna have to check but yeah i think i don't know but anyway you get 4200 five star shards which i mean kind of lacking a little bit i mean me personally i was thinking like <clears throat> six seven thousand maybe five star shards for completion 6750 tier five basic catalyst fragments so that's I mean, that's a little more than you get from the glory store. So, I mean, that's good. Uh, so, I mean, that's not bad. Uh, one third of a tier two alpha, which I mean, you can go to the glory store and get a full, get like a full T2 alpha for under 2000 glory. So, I mean, I guess that's okay. 10,800. And then eight five star generic stones. That's, you know, I mean, you know, you're free to play. That's good for you. And I mean, you know, generics, you know, they're still good because they are generic. So that's a good thing. I'm, I ain't, I ain't going to complain about that. <clears throat> 7,500 gold. I mean, Cavalier difficulty. I mean, that's kind of lacking, especially gold. Cause, I mean, when you look at variants, just for a completion of variant, of a variant difficulty, you looking at like 500K gold. And that's just for a completion. So if Cavalier, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the power index is going to be somewhere around variant level. You know, I, I was, ex you know, at least expecting, like, at least for completion, like, 300, 400K go. <clears throat> and then you get three times tier five class ISO of each class, which, I mean, that does, I mean, that, I mean, that does come in handy. Now, for the juicy rewards, exploration, 42 including path rewards 42 50 six star shows so you on exploration on exploration for uncollected you get like 1200 six star shows when you uh explore each uh quest each chapter plus uh full uncollected exploration it adds up to be about uh, 12, 1300. So that's actually good. You know, 4250. So 
And basically, Cavalier difficulty, you get half of a six star. So, you know, in two months, in two months, if you do Cavalier difficulty, that's a full six star right there. And if you do uncollected plus Cavalier difficulty, if you do uncollected and Cavalier difficulty, I, I believe uh, uncollected altogether, completion and exploration is about, uh, I believe, 1700 So, yeah, about 5700 You're looking at about 60, about 65, 7,000 six star shot. You get a full five star hero crystal. So, you're getting uncollected is about. Completion and exploration, you're going to end up getting somewhere around 7,500 five star shards. So, with Cavalier, you can combine that together, you're going to have about <coughs> two uh, five star basic crystals. That's what it's looking like. You get a T2 Alpha. That's 3600 So you get a T2 Alpha and a little extra. One t uh, 10% Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal. And uh, if you know what that is, that's about 4500 of a, a T5 Class uh, Class Fragment. That's about 4500 Fragments. You get 2700 of a T5 Basic. Man. You know, Kabam, they they never gonna give like whole T five basics out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not for, especially not for no event quest. Ten six star stone crystals, so RNG base, gold three hundred seventy k. That's what I was expecting for completion, and then for expiration, it could have been my five hundred k. Uh, 12 generic 5 star stones, so that's good. And then you get 2 tier 6 class ISO. Tier 6? I don't even think that's out yet. So, this will be interesting because tier 5 ISO is like 5,000, and then when you uh, match the class, it's like 7,500. So, tier 6. I'm expect I'm expecting it to be like seventy five hundred base, and then when you match the class, maybe about ten thousand, maybe. The expiration was a split over paths, and the expiration was the expiration was a split over paths, and the expiration was. This will look different in game, but we'll add up to these amounts, okay? Also, each month we will be adding a special objective for Cavalier difficulty. This ultra difficult objective will test your skills as a summoner, but if you can achieve it, it will reward you with another 10% T5 class. So that's about 9,000 fragments of a class if you manage to get from both crystals the same class if not then it's just by 4500 for the first iteration the objective is to defeat one path of every quest in eq with only a team of four star champions alone this can be a path that you have already completed october's event quest will feature a different objective so be sure to prepare yourself for a new channel. <coughs> Uncollected rewards update. Okay. Okay, I'm actually surprised. I, I guess I spoke too soon. So for uncollected, for completion, 1,500 five-star shots, 3,000 T5 basic fragments, 6,000 T2 alpha fragments, 3T4 class catalyst crystals, 3600 gold, 200 four star shards, 1200 four star crystal shards, 
Honestly, that should be a whole four star. Like literally, this is uncollected, bro. That should literally be like two thousand four stars. Or like I don't know why they just you know or something. Anyway, two T five of each class, and then for exploration, they bumped it up from what would have been twelve hundred six star stars to twenty five hundred six star stars. 6,005 star hero crystal shards. 6,025 basic. 30k T2 alpha. So you get a whole T2 alpha for ex exploring uncollected. And you can never have too many T2 alpha. Two T4 class catalysts crystals. 10 5 star signature stone crystals. 212k gold. 2400 4 star hero crystal shards 4 T5 class of each class okay removing beginner difficulty oh wow okay interesting September will feature the final beginner event class on our toe we will be removing the difficulty of monthly event class this difficulty has always been very similar to normal it doesn't serve a purpose anymore. Removing it will allow us to focus on our time and efforts and providing you more engaging content. I mean, I'm not mad at that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, even if you just started this game, bro, beginner difficulty, you can literally complete, you can literally complete beginner difficulty with like, <coughs> maxed out two star champions. That's how easy beginner difficulty is. For a new player, you can complete that with maxed out two star champions. So if you got like a couple three stars at like rank three or four, you can blow through beginner difficulty like it's nothing. Like so, I mean, I don't, I'm not mad at it. <clears throat> Tomorrow we will post our last monthly event quest spotlight thread. Originally, the point of these threads was to inform players of the story coming their way. And the rewards they got. These were started in the time where event quests weren't available every month. And the rewards were always shifting. It was a place for some to discuss service and blah, blah, blah. So basically, they won't be posting the uh, event quests every month. Uh, you know, like how they, you know, they talk about the backstory and stuff. So, I mean, I guess, you know, because, I mean, it'd be the same rewards every month. It ain't like shit changing, so... I guess. And it's been a long road. But we're almost there. While we learn from Canadian difficulty and Herald difficulty side events, this is still the first Carol and Difficulty event quest. There's still going to be a space to shift and grow the same way that I collected, I collected difficulty did. Look forward to your experience in this challenge and can't wait to see you come whatever time away. I kind of wish they did. Cavalier, the first Cavalier difficulty, like they did Uncollected, where you know you got a title, you know what I'm saying? Like the first 50 or 100 players to do Cavalier difficulty, whatever it is, completion or exploration, you know, you get a special title for that day one. But, anyways, guys, I'm not gonna make this video longer than it has to. Thank you for tuning in. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. King Chubbs out.